One. What's George doing now? Hi. Where's George? Is he still studying? He's driving his girlfriend to the airport. Oh. Will he be back for the volleyball game? I don't think so. We'll have to play without him. Two. Which room will the woman stay in? Here's your key, Mrs. Hill. Your room is number forty-three. Up the stairs and turn right. Is it a quiet room? Well, it's quieter at the back of the hotel. Here, have this one if you prefer. Number twenty-three. Thanks. I'll need the room for six nights. Three. What will the boy wear in the race? Have you got everything for the race? Yes, I think so. I'll wear these long running trousers. It's quite cold. Don't you want your hat too? It's in my bag. I'll put it on later. Four. What colour will the room be? What colour are you going to have your room, Anne? I'd like to paint it green. But Mum thinks yellow looks warmer. Orange is my favourite colour. I like it too, but I'll have to do what Mum wants. Five. Where did Minnie and Richard first meet? Richard, have you met the new student in our class? Do you mean Minnie? Yes. She's the one who's a very good tennis player. I've known her since January. That's when her family moved next door to mine. Hello, Jack. You want to go to the sports centre one day a week, don't you? Well, I've got some information. On Monday, there's golf. Hmm. I prefer volleyball, Mark. Also, Monday's a bad day for me. Tuesday's better. Is there volleyball then? It's basketball, but you like that, don't you? Quite. What can you do on Wednesday? Let's see. It was badminton, but not enough people wanted to do it, so it's swimming now. That's no good for me because I hate water. And I go to swimming at school every Tuesday. Is there anything outside?、Uh, football or hockey? On Thursday. But they don't do hockey, I'm afraid. Just football. But look, Friday's good. Why? You say you like volleyball. Well, that's at the sports centre then. Great. Or there's Saturday.、Oh, swimming again. Tennis. That's outside. And you like it better than football, don't you? Yes. But I like volleyball best. I tried to phone you yesterday. Oh, sorry. I was busy all day, and then I went to London in the evening for a meal with some friends. Did you take your car? I left it at home. Parking's such a problem, but the underground was closed for repairs, so I had to take the bus. It was quite slow. Did you go to your favourite Spanish restaurant? I was hoping to try some Mexican food, but my friends booked a table in a Chinese place. Was it expensive? Quite cheap, actually, and the food was very good. But it's only a small restaurant, so a lot of people had to wait for tables, and it was quite noisy. You didn't stay there and talk afterwards, then. We went for a walk along the river. It was too late for the cinema. Didn't you get wet? It rained here all evening. The wind was very cold, but it stayed dry. And then it snowed during the night. That was after I got home, but I had a really good evening. Can I help you? I'm looking for the new Brad Smith video about a boy who works as a waiter. My daughter wants it, but I don't know the name. Oh yes, it's called Blue Cafe. <laughs> My daughter is thirteen. Is she old enough to watch it? It's for anyone who is twelve or older, so she'll be okay. I hope it's not too expensive. Some videos are nearly twenty pounds. It's five pounds ninety-nine. We're selling it at a special price today. Great. Can I have one, please?
I'm sorry. I've just sold the last one. You'll have to go to our other shop. Oh, dear. Where's that? It's in Shirley Street. That's S-H-I-R-L-E-Y. Oh, that's where the post office is, isn't it? Yes. The video shop's not far from there, just across the road from the bank. It's only five minutes from here. OK. Thanks for your help. Now, listen carefully, everybody. Here is some excellent news. Next Thursday, a most interesting visitor is going to come to talk to us. He's the astronaut, Dr Robert Teal. That's T-E-A-L-E. -E. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of him. He's very famous for his journeys into space. He's going to talk to us about space travel. Only he can tell us just what it's like to travel round the Earth in a spaceship, past the moon and the stars. The whole school is going to listen to Dr Teal. We will use the school hall, because none of the classrooms will be big enough. Classes will finish at twenty past two on Thursday, because the talk will start at half past. Don't be late. If your parents would like to hear Dr Teal, we have a few extra seats. The ticket price for them will be £3.85, but of course, for students, it is free. <laughs>